Well, hello and welcome. Thank you, my friends, for being a part of our devotional series this morning here at Port Naz. As we jump into a thought, it, it was just a few minutes today. I'm trying to keep this short for you. I want you to think about something. I want you to think about the last time that God moved in your life. When was the last time that you just experienced God in, in such an amazing way? Maybe it was with, with a group of people at a church or an event. Maybe it was with somebody over coffee in a conversation. Maybe it was with your family at home or, or the beach by yourself just watching the waves crash in and, and just feeling a peace of God. When was the last time that you felt moved by God? What are those moments? What is going on that makes these moments special? Well, I believe it, it kind of explains itself a little bit in this Lord's Prayer today in, in Matthew 6.10 that it talks about um, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus very much exposes to us right now in his prayer that he's teaching us of how to pray, to be overwhelmed that, that our job and our, and our calling is to begin to bring this heaven to, to this earth. Why? Because I believe there's people in a literal hell. Right now, if you could probably pause and think, and I challenge you to do so today, and write down some names. Who are people that are just struggling? You may not know. But if you may not, you may pray that God would give you the eyes to see those around you that just are needing a healing touch and, and a hope from, from this idea, this kingdom of God that can bring this heaven to earth. It's not just a, a, a nice phrase. It's a calling that I think that Jesus begins to, to, to tell his church, we are to be these people that begin to blend this heaven and earth, that we aren't just to talk about this distant place that one day we get to get to. And what a great promise we have in, in eternity and what heaven it will be. But Jesus exposes right here in, in Matthew 6.10 that we are also to be part of this agency that brings heaven to earth. To look around us right now in the very world we live in and to say, God, where can I begin to bring heaven? Where is broken? Where is hurt? Where is decimation? Where is just this depression or, or, or isolation? Where is it that your kingdom needs to shine? And God, how can I be a part of that? It is, it's saying things like, God, where are you at work? And let me join you because where you're at work, I want to be. I want to be a part of that blending of heaven and earth. Our job is to be creating thin spaces where heaven and earth combine. Where, where one, you kind of even, can't even tell which one you're even in because this is how close God is to us. How heaven can be, be exposed in, in, in ways that begins to lift people out of brokenness and darkness. That, my friends, is our calling. That's your calling. So today, pause, think through those words of Jesus and ask yourself, where can I begin to create thin spaces in my workplace, in my home, with my kids, my family, my friends, maybe over coffee, maybe at a church? Where is it, God, that you want to use me to help create thin spaces that your kingdom and your earth would combine and people would see the very movement of God in their lives? So if they were asked, when's the last time God has moved in their lives, they would say, oh man, right here. We get to be a part of an amazing journey of exposing God's kingdom God's heavenly kingdom to a broken world. Let's dive into that. Let's create thin spaces together. Think through where you can this week. God bless you.